Welcome to Uncle's Channel. Thanks for watching today. Let's find a cheese or easy to defeat to Martyr Ligorius in Bloodborne. Now this boss here is definitely going to reward you for being a very close combatant against him. The further away you get, the more powerful his attacks are, and the more likely you are to die. Stay as close as possible, and this battle is going to be a heck of a lot easier. Now as you go into the arena, the first thing I recommend is trying to get him or position him against one of the walls. You may have to dodge around a little bit, get him to sort of go into a particular spot, and then really lay the pressure on him to begin to back away against one of the walls. Once he's against one of the walls, it really sort of uh, negates the amount of areas that he can go to, and man, you can really just slice away and take away a significant amount of health. Now eventually he will transfer into stage two, which is going to be a little bit more powerful, However, the same strategy applies. Lay the pressure on him, keep close combat, and his most powerful attacks will never hit you. You'd be surprised how weak his actual slice attacks are when you're really close to him, because as you're slicing away, you'll regain that health back really fast. And so his big thing here is going to be able to slam the sword down the ground, destroy the sword as fast as you can when he does that. But if you're really laying the pressure on him, the sword's gonna be really close by anyway, easy to take out. Of course, ideally, you can get him back up to a corner, backed up against a wall where he can't move as much, and you really lay the attacks in then, but keep the pressure on him. Do not back away from him unless you need to heal. And at that point, as soon as you're healed up, journey straight back in there and get that pressure on him again. The faster you are on this attack, the better it's going to be. Do not let that distance become a factor inside this battle, and you'll avoid the vast majority of his magic attacks. And even his physical attacks, like I said, they're not too powerful against you. And if you roll into him, you'll even avoid most of them that way anyway. But get him in the corner, lay the pressure on him, and you'll defeat it in no time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other Bloodborne cheese and strategy videos listed up above. As always, go out there, find a great game to play, and just simply have a great rest of the day.